guys, what is going on? So on today's video, we're out in the garage and I'm super excited that uh, I get to show you this. So for Christmas, I had received an awesome gift from my wife, Heather. Love you, babe. I received a planer that I've been wanting and needing for quite some time now. I've seen this planer at Harbor Freight for a while now and it's their Bauer 13 inch planer. So I got it for Christmas and I'm super excited. And it was about, it's been about two weeks now since I've received it and I haven't had a chance to use it. Without further ado, let me turn around, let me show you this planer. So here we go. All right, everybody, so this is the planer right here. This is the Bauer um, planer. It is really nice, it's brand new, never been used, and I'm super excited. So really quick, I'm just gonna show you real quick the one thing that I found so far that I'm not entirely thrilled of, it's the handle. It has some play in it right here that I think it's, when I turn it on, it's gonna wobble a lot. And the setting, so this does, you can see it moves here and it has a little clicking for each little section going down. So if I wanna go to 1 64th, there it is right there, it's set, but it has this play right here. It doesn't affect the up and down of the planer. It doesn't wobble it up and down like this. It just has a little play. And I think it's gonna be okay. It's just gonna vibrate a little bit. So I kind of wish it had a little bit more tension, but you know what? I, I'm not too worried about it. That, if that's the worst of it, then you know what? I'm in good shape. Over here, it has a circuit breaker reset switch, a f awesome on off switch. You can flip this. It's got a nice surface area so that you can, when you flip it on, easy and you can just hit it and it turns off which down is the off position has the roller so you can feed your you know when you feed through this direction with wood when you feed this through here okay and then you come back over with a long piece you can set it on top and it has nice rollers for that so you can kind of keep going back and forth as far as the plates go they're not perfectly level uh, I think there's going to be a little bit of snipe right here because of this. I mean, you can kind of see when I hit this here, it catches. And I think the other side is a little bit worse, but I don't think it's going to matter as much on that side because that's the side that actually it comes out of. So eventually I think what I'm going to build, I'm going to build a single uh, plane for the planer. That way it's a smooth surface all the way across and I can take it and put it in and out. But we're gonna do that later. So right now I'm just gonna use this. So basically when you use a planer, make sure that you, if you're gonna, if you need a board, let's say that's five feet long, make sure you plane a board that's six feet and then cut after you're done planing. That's pretty much the gist of it. That's the best, that's your best bet. That way you can cut off any sniping that would happen at the beginning or the end of your board. Plastic, nothing crazy, super simple setup. The only thing that you had to install when I took this out of the box was the handle and you have to just kind of push it on and you're good to go. You have to install your plate, which is the chute for your sawdust. And then it also came with a, not a reducer, but I guess the opposite expander. So this goes on here, so if you have a dust collection system, and then it goes out to a larger hose. When you take it out of the box, that is it. That is the only thing, just to install that, which is two screws, has a ceiling here so that no sawdust comes flying out. And that's it, and also came with two magnets, and these are for when you change your blades underneath, you can grab onto that, and also an Allen key, which is the same Allen key to fit here, so you can take and remove this if you need to. So I recommend you don't lose that, keep it where it's supposed to be. All right, that is it. That is the tour of the planer itself. And now what I'm gonna show you is the system that I have for the dust collection. So I'm gonna set the camera up and we'll come to that. All right, everybody, so I've already used this planer and I'm gonna just do it. This is a little cut in from what I've already recorded. So I came up with this system that was gonna, I was gonna try to do a vacuumless hose and it just didn't work. What you, you have to have some kind of vacuum system with this or you're just gonna shoot out your sawdust everywhere. There is a little quick 
clip of everything kind of all over the place. But basically, real quick, so I have a um, shop vac hooked up to the planer, and I went to uh, Lowe's and purchased a two inch uh, rubber coupler that you can buy in the plumbing section. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and I'm gonna show you real quick what I purchased. It's just a two inch by two inch coupler and it comes with these clamps as well and it was only four dollars so basically all you got to do is just unscrew these a little bit and just tighten them up you know go back and forth and it holds it on nice and tight so that whatever you your hose doesn't come loose and go flying off and you know into your shop vac but if you do not have this you will have sawdust everywhere because what it does is it just kind of shoots out with in all the directions and you're going to have sawdust everywhere so you definitely need a shop vac or something to collect your shavings from. All right, so I'm gonna to return to the next clip of me using the planer. So what I'm gonna tell you is make sure that you turn your volume down. I'm gonna to try to reduce the volume in editing so that you, so it's not loud, but these planers are super loud. So make sure you have headphones on um, at the very minimum. I forgot to wear my safety glasses. So make sure you wear safety glasses. I forgot to put those on. I was trying to get this done. But uh, definitely, or you're gonna have to wear some ear protection because this thing is super loud. But if you, uh, I kind of warn you to kind of turn down your volume right now, even though I have the volume and editing set really low. So here we go. All right, everybody, so here's a quick update. I went ahead and attached the shop vac up to the coupler, and I used that rubber coupler to kind of connect the two, and I had very little blowback, uh, very little mess coming out, maybe a few pieces here and there, like little tiny you know, shavings just kicking back a little bit, uh, but check it out. So this was a two by six, and now it is basically about a quarter of an inch thick, and it is almost perfectly smooth with very, very little sniping. I mean, there's a little bit right here. Um, very hard to tell. But yeah, this thing is now, I mean, it's like glass. And it only took a few passes. So make sure you use these things without a, you know, with a good blade. This thing is awesome, guys. Honestly, I'm super excited to use it. I might have to hook up the shop back for now and eventually get a central uh, system it really just makes too much of a mess without having a vacuum so you definitely need a vacuum system where you will have a mess on your hands all right everybody see y'all later have a good one thanks stay awesome Guess it's time to go get the broom.